Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Kimura FX STP2 Wi-Fi Controllable Continuous Duty Pump. Man, what a mouthful. If you want to run a calcium reactor in easy mode, want your calc stir to be fed reliably to match your daily evaporation, or just want a reliable, heavy-duty, continuous-duty dosing pump with Wi-Fi controllability, Kimura's got you covered. Peristaltic dosing pumps have become a staple in the reefing hobby. Once upon a time, most reefers dosed their two-part and other liquid additives by hand, and very few would shell out the absolute ton of cash required for a peristaltic pump designed for use in the medical field to use on their reef tank. Well, those days are now behind us, and modern reefers have lots and lots of dosing pump options to keep their parameters consistently stable while also keeping dosing hands off. Not all dosing pumps are the same. Some are rated for lower flow rates, others are rated for higher flow rates, some are meant for continuous duty, while the majority are meant to run periodically for shorter times. For many of us, the majority of dosing pumps out there are gonna do a fantastic job of making sure that our tank is receiving its daily doses of two-part so that our corals can grow and thrive. But when we have more specialized and specific tasks like feeding a calcium reactor or a calc stirrer, we have to make sure to get the right tool for the job since the intermittent duty dosing pumps we typically use for two-part just aren't built to run constantly and won't last the test of time in this sort of application and likely won't even have a high enough flow rate either. The Kimura FX STP Wi-Fi dosing pump is specifically built for precise all day, 24 seven dosing applications and is an absolute must for anybody running a calcium reactor, which I'll touch on a bit later. In the box, you'll find the FX STP 2 Wi-Fi dosing pump, the power adapter and plug adapter, eighth inch to quarter inch barbed adapters, just over six feet of eighth inch tubing, just over three feet of quarter inch tubing, and some lubricant. The FX STP2 is a compact, continuous duty peristaltic pump, meaning it's built to run 24 seven and can deliver anywhere from one mil to 140 milliliters per minute in 0.1 millimeter increments for precise dosing. It's built specifically for the demands of the reef hobby and primarily for use with calcium reactors, but also makes a really great addition on calc stirs, can also be used for specialized ATO needs and even for doing automated water changes. It uses a high precision stepper motor, six rollers, and the Farmed doser tubing is top notch and rated for 2000 hours. This pump absolutely can work standalone. It doesn't need any other controller or app in order for it to do all of its functions. However, the Wi-Fi model I have here is also capable of working with the Kimura remote app. Personally, I really like the metal construction of the pump. It feels extremely well built and the knob has very satisfying crisp clicks as you turn it. It makes adjusting the flow very easy. You won't accidentally skip past numbers when dialing it in. The pump runs surprisingly quiet at speeds under 60 milliliters per minute, but it is more audible at higher speeds. But if it's tucked away under a stand or in a fish room, you're unlikely to hear it anyway. I will say if looks mean a lot to you, then uh, you may find the appearance of this pump a bit underwhelming. It definitely isn't sleek, but it is very compact for a continuous duty dosing pump and the design makes it very easy to maintain when it comes time to change that doser tubing. Now, personally, I really do wish it had some kind of mounting options other than just the rubber feet on the bottom there. However, it is easy enough to just pick up a small shelf and mount that inside of the stand and just pick it up and set it on there. Problem solved. This is the Wi-Fi model, but just like its non-Wi-Fi version, the display is bright and easy to navigate and you can do everything you need from calibration to setting the dosing speed through the onboard controls. If you prefer to get techy with it and want the ability to adjust the flow rate on the fly from anywhere at any time, or if you just prefer to work on a larger, easy to read touch screen like a phone or tablet without having to get under the stand where the pump might be located, the FX STP2 Wi-Fi model can be controlled through the Kimura remote app on both Android and iOS devices. Setup can be as simple as just plugging it into the wall and then using the dial and display on board to set up the doser, or follow the quick start guide, download the app, register, and follow the prompts. It's definitely best to calibrate the doser before using it. Calibration is simple and can be done through the onboard controls or in the app. All you need is some water, a graduated cylinder, and about 60 seconds. If you want one of the absolute easiest ways to set up a calcium reactor, this is it. It's simple. Peg the pH in the reactor, which effectively locks in the concentration of the effluent. And then you can simply adjust the speed of your FX STP to add more or less effluent to the tank. Parameters getting a bit low, no big deal. You can literally just turn the knob or jump into the app and adjust it by a few millimeters per minute. 
No need to fuss with a crusty valve or try changing the concentration by adjusting CO2, just a very simple increase or decrease of dosing speed. One reason I never personally ever got into calcium reactors is because tuning them and dialing them in just seemed like a major pain. But I've gotta say that this pump has changed my perception of calcium reactors and ultimately has made them something that are very simple and easy to understand and implement. I guess what I'm saying is I'm, I'm not opposed to using a calcium reactor now, maybe even considering one actively for a future tank. Another really great use for this peristaltic pump is to pair it with a calc stirrer. You can essentially match the dosing rate of your FXSTP to the evaporation rate of the tank and have it provide a constant feed of calc water to the tank. Or if you're running a Nilsen reactor, you can put it on a timer to shut off when the reactor is mixing up the calc. The FXSTP will also save and store its settings so when the power goes off and comes back on, it'll simply resume the flow rate that you have previously set. At 300 bucks, it isn't the least expensive continuous duty pump, but the overall build quality and performance are a direct reflection of that price tag, and it is still dramatically less expensive than the medical grade pumps it's designed to replace. If you've been thinking about a calcium reactor and really want to know if it's as complicated as it looks, like I mentioned earlier, they're not nearly as intimidating as they appear. In fact, we've got a really great method for setting them up on easy mode, and Ryan's going to tell you about it right here. Go get it. Go set up that dream calcium reactor. Stop worrying. It's not that bad. It's actually really easy. Maybe I should get it.